Hi, let's go over this Venn diagram problem. It says at a school with 100 students, that's the total right there, 37 were taking Arabic out of the circle, 37 were taking Arabic, 38 were taking Bulgarian right there, 34 were taking Chinese, 23 students take only Arabic, only Arabic, 23 take only Bulgarian and 19 take only Chinese. Here down it says in addition 13 are taking both Arabic and Bulgarian, Arabic and Bulgarian, that's 13, that's these two sections together combined. Some of whom also take Chinese, so some of the 13 are down right here, they're taking the three languages. How many students are taking all three languages? That's this portion. And none of these three languages. That means out of the three circles out here. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started. As you could see, we have uh, the 100 students are already right there. That's the total. We have 37 Arabic, 38 are taking Bulgarian, and 34 Chinese as the problem states. 23 students take only Arabic, so I wrote this here. This includes this portion only. That does not uh, have anything to deal with these sections. Only this section right here on the left. 23 take only Bulgarian, same concept. 19 take only Chinese, that's down below. So out of this circle, this down right here is 19, only Chinese. All right. In addition, 13 are taking both Arabic and Bulgarian. That's Arabic and that's Bulgarian. So 13 is going to be taking both. That these kind of like two sections. Some of whom also take Chinese. That means some of the 13 are here. If they're here, they're taking only Arabic and Bulgarian but some of whom are also taking Chinese. So some students or some are taking all three languages. How many students are taking all three languages? So we're asking about this portion. None of these three languages. So there is two parts of the question. None will be outside right here. Okay, let's get started. If you look at the 37, that's right there, 23 right here, but we know that this here is the main part. That's why I'm doing it in a different color. 13 are referring to this section. So if you do some math on the left, I do have 23, 20, let me double check and write it again. Here we go. 23. That's this 23. And 13 adds up to 6 right here and 3 right here. But the total should be 37. So I'm missing 1. The total should be 37. So to add it up to 37, the 1 should be right there. I can't write the 13 here unless if I want to do it this way, right there, to make sure that I don't know how many of the 13 are taking the three languages. Let's keep that in mind. We'll take it back. We'll take it off in just a minute or two. So we're done with this circle. We found one portion. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So I have on the right side 23 and 13, same idea, but let's just do it. 23 and 13 will add up to 36 and the total should be 38 so 38 minus 36 that should be 2 so this number should be 2 all right now let's go down below and see what we could do we have on the 
lower circle, the numbers are 19 and 2 and 1. So far, I have 1 and 19, which is 20, and 2, 22. But the total is what? Total is 34. So if I do the math, and I go 34, that's the total right there, minus 19. That should be minus 22. Let's take it back. We want to see the difference from 22, by the way. So, <clears throat> minus 22, to see the difference that we're missing, is 12. 4 minus 2 is 2, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So, 2 and 1 and 19 adds up to 22, but I need the whole circle to add up to 34, so we are missing 12. Let me take it, the 13 away from my writing and write on this section 12. Let me make it fit right there. But we know earlier that this section was given to me as 13, so that should be 1. Now let's go and answer the question. For the how many students are taking all three languages, that is this portion right here, which is 12. None of these three languages, I need to do the math and add all these numbers inside and see how far we are from 100. So let's do that. I have the following. I have 23. That's this 23. There is one more 23. There is 19. There is 1 and 1 and 12 and 2. 1 and 1 and 12 and 2. Add them up. I do have it already. Add it for you to save some time. I know we could add here, but I'm saving the time. I could add the 9 and 1 and 10 and 3 and 3 6 and 2 and 2 will make another 10 and then another one that's 1 and you carry I believe the 3 let's see 3 and 3 6 10 10 20 21 21 so that's a 2 2 4 6 7 8 yes 81 all right we come now to the final answer to answer the question we have a hundred total 81 are taking languages the three languages some of whom are taking Chinese only some of them are taking Arabic they're all over the place as you can see that's what we added so what's the difference the difference is 19 using common sense instead of like going to the one and borrow 100 minus 81 is 19 and that is the answer for the second part of the question. That should do it, and thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.